Music Copyright Part 2 So you've got your copyright. Now what? While copyright allows you to copy, distribute, and perform the work, money doesn't automatically appear in your pocket when your song is played on the radio or is recorded by someone else. Royalties are all handled by a sea of agencies who work on behalf of artists to make sure that they get the money they are owed when their music is used or played. Before we get into those, there's something special that you need to know about music copyright. Each piece of music actually has two copyrights, one for the musical composition and one for the sound recording itself. Sometimes you are eligible for royalties on the composition and other times for the sound recording, and sometimes for both. We'll start off by focusing on the musical composition copyright. In our last video, we talked about the bundle of rights copyright gives you for your musical composition. As the songwriter, these exclusive rights are yours. If someone wants to play, perform, or sell your music, they have to pay you royalties. Remember our friend Sam Singer? He wants to make sure that he gets royalties for his music when it's played on the radio. How does that happen? Music that is played on the radio, in restaurants, and up in the club are all subject to musical composition royalties. But for Sam to receive royalties, he has to register with a performing rights organization, also known as a PRO. PROs like ASCAP, BMI, and CSAC provide blanket licenses to radio stations and public venues that allow them to play registered music for a price. The PRO Sam registers his music with will track how many times his song is played and will pay him royalties for it. It's also important to remember that if Sam works with a publisher, he shares songwriting credit with them and they would also receive some of the songwriting royalties. However, if he self-publishes his music, he receives 100% of the royalties. Sam is also trying to sell his musical composition on CD, vinyl, and MP3, but no one can make copies of Sam's music without his permission. Sam is self-releasing his music, so he doesn't need permission to release it himself. And for each album or MP3 sold, he receives 100% of the songwriter's share of the sales. But what if you wanted to release your own version of copywriting on the wall? In the US, the Harry Fox Agency provides mechanical licenses for musical compositions. When you get a license from Harry Fox to cover Sam Singer's song, he gets a royalty when your version is played or sold. Wow, this is so complicated! Who knew there were so many people involved? And we've only talked about the musical composition, not the sound recording. To help out with all of these agencies and steps, many musicians choose to release music through publishers like Hal Leonard. They all handle these licenses for your musical compositions, but can sometimes take up to 50% of royalties for their services. Even if you're only almost famous, you can take advantage of newer aggregator services like CD Baby or TuneCore, who can help you get registered and collect your royalties on your behalf for a smaller fee. But wait, we said there were two copyrights. What about the sound recording copyright? Stay tuned to find out.